Hi guys, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you the basics of oil processing. So what you want to do first is um, get yourself a little bit of an off-grid power system here. If it's uh, far away from your main base. Throw down a pump jack. What I like to do is run the pipe down a fair bit. Grab an oil refinery. Stick that on the end. And once you've researched advanced, you can do advanced oil processing if you've got water or uh, basic oil processing. Today we'll do basic. So you'll notice you've got three pipes there. And it will create three of the heavy, three of the light, and uh, four of the petroleum there. Now what I like to do is um, grab these underground pipes and space them out at different lengths. And this is in order to um, give me some room to work with. So take the petroleum out to the side here. And I like to put some storage tanks in. And you'll see why in a minute. So make sure you've got plenty of pipe. Just lay this one down here, further away. There we go, we've got three storage tanks filling up slowly. So this will keep demand fairly well. This will only produce that exact amount, so they have to be used at the same time. Now, light oil can be split uh, into petroleum and heavy oil into light oil, so you can see the uses there. Now, I'll get the uh, pipes to where you'd like them. I've already spread out the power grid as you can see, and you'll need some um, chemical plants. make sure you get them on the right side and you can start making either biofuel or some sulfur so we've got petroleum here so petroleum can be made into sulfur with some water there so if you have water, petroleum you can make uh, sulfur Just move that around to the other side Alright, so we need to pipe some water there. Now in order to make the sulphur, obviously, it needs to use the uh, parts of the petroleum, which leaves the light oil and heavy oil free to use. And you can either turn the light oil into solid fuel, and the heavy oil into solid fuel, or if you've researched it, you can split it into light oil and pipe it into the light oil there. Uh, which may be easier, uh, but what I'd like to do is just put solid fuel or lubricant for motors, and that'll just create there till it hits 50, and it will just stop, and that will will stop um, everything here unless you've got storage tanks. These will fill until they're full, and then it will stop the production there. So what you want to do is uh, put in some requester chests or uh, conveyor belts off to your burners uh, not requester chests um, provider chests, sorry and provider chests just um, basically give the material to logistic robots that's not producing because I haven't got water there yet I'll just quickly run that now. Well, there's an easy way to get around these trees.
Oh, perfect. Now you can just um, obviously put brakes in there so you can uh, walk through. So we've got sulfur there, which is used to make batteries, and solid fuel, which will be used to um, obviously fuel our burners and that sort of thing. Now I don't have any paths here, so what I'll probably need to do is generate some paths. See a solar array here. Yeah. There we go. I'll add some rubber ports there to join the paths later. Sorry guys, got a bit off topic there. So yeah, that's the uh, basics of the oil system. Um, yeah, have fun, good luck, as always, thanks for watching.